Law number three, the law of repetition. The more we do something, the better we become at it, and the more acceptable it is to us. By repeating your idea, or more accurately, by repeatedly visualizing with enthused emotion your idea, vision, or concept as often as you can, it starts to take root. Like all the laws, there is a scientific and logical explanation for this. In our brain, we have neural pathways. These are the electrical circuits our brain follows when accessing information or executing any behavior. When we start a new memory or behavior, the brain establishes a tentative and weak pathway. But the brain is efficient and prefers well-worn and established neurological pathways. The brain uses most of your body's energy and it uses less energy this way. This is why it is so difficult to change an established habit or behavior. The more we use a particular pathway, the more established it becomes. After 21 days of constant use of this new pathway, the pathway becomes a highway in your brain and any behavior automatically becomes a habit. In essence, it is the concept of attention amplifies intention. Keep repeating with visualization and enthused emotion your idea, vision, and concept. Hebb's law states that neurons that fire together, wire together. When neuron A fires neuron B, the link between the two grows stronger. Any experience, thought, feeling, and physical sensation fires thousands of neurons, which form a neural network. When we repeat an experience over and over, the brain learns to fire the same neurons each time. This ends up as what we call a habit. Muscle memory works along similar lines. Repetition of action and thought leads to mastery of a particular process. Hebb's law is the journey that takes us from unconscious incompetence I do not know what I cannot do. To conscious incompetence, I know what I cannot do. To conscious competence, I have learned to do it. To unconscious competence, I can do it without thinking about it. Learning to drive is a good example of this. Consider the analogy of a journey through a dense forest. Initially, it is tough going. The second time around it is a little easier. After 21 journeys, we have started to develop a well-worn path. This is a neural pathway. Now consider stepping off the well-worn path into the dense jungle again. This taxes our systems and we tend to avoid it. Assume we followed the new path and stuck to it for a period of time, then the initial path would start to get overgrown. Our new habits replace our old ones in this fashion. Another way of looking at this is when we have a new thought, we have created a dirt path in our mind. Then we create words which widen this path. These words lead to actions which widen the path. These actions lead to experiences which create a freeway. The actions and experiences create a habit which is a superhighway in your mind. A thought repeated often enough and with strong feeling will become entrenched in the subconscious and ultimately will manifest. Continued manifestations then lend belief and credibility to your ability to create, thus empowering the act of you creating. The reason you have adopted your parents' faith, values and beliefs is that you have been exposed to them over a period of time. In turn, they have programmed you to accept them because they were regularly shared with you. So often that you now accept them as your own beliefs. Therefore, keep telling yourself positive affirmations and keep visualizing the preferred outcome. 
It is only a matter of time before your mind accepts these things as immutable facts. Repetition is a strong tool for manifesting. It is an excellent way to program your subconscious and continual exposure to a concept or vision makes it a truth over time. Through continuous repetition, your new life becomes burned into you and you program your homeostasis. Every time reality flashes in and out of the probability field, the law of repetition continually tells the universe what it is that needs to be created.